Hello and welcome my friends of Maps in Motion. I would love to invite you to the beta of glayers.app. We want to make animating maps more approachable, so all you need is a modern web browser. Head over to glayers.app and start for free. For your commercial projects, we have reduced pricing during beta. You can export images, mp4 files, as well as 4K lossless image sequences. Once you're logged in, you can have a look at one of the sample projects, create new projects, or simply have a look at the tutorial project that is opened by default. It shows you some of the very basic concepts the app has to offer. To create smooth map animations, there's no need to understand fiddly keyframes and value graphs. All you need is these items. These items can be simply dragged around they can simply snap together to create transitions in between them. You can simply drag the transition duration to make your animation faster. That's all you need. You can, for example, cut items, extend their length, and of course, change the view of this item. You can also simply add animators. For example, we could orbit around this location. And the transition to this is seamless. Let's head over to the next tab. So you can, of course, create labels. Labels can be dragged around with your mouse, or if you hold Control, you can also offset them by like leaving the geo position and the pointer as it is. To add a label, you can simply double click the map, hit add label, and there you go. Labels can also have different templates, so you can double click them, choose another template, and hit apply. Feel free to play around with them. They're very, very powerful. Next tab, features. Of course, you can also add features to your map. You can simply search for them, import them from files, and there's even this nifty little trigger to invert polygons. Next up, there is drawings. Drawing and editing shapes is also very easy in glayers.app. So you can simply drag around points. They have busy handles that you can simply edit. Glayers can also animate and follow routes. This is a little bit more advanced, but it's also very easy to handle. Once you have a nifty little animation, head over to the export section. There you can preview your final animation. You can change the resolution and the aspect that you want to export. And then you can simply click Start Render. Once your render is done, you've got this cool little preview up here that you can scrub around and watch your animation. And then when the final encoding is finished, you get your download. The web app is in active development, so chances are quite good that your feature request will find its way into the next release. Feel free to check it out on glayers.app.